I'm Antonio Graceffo, it's Martial Arts Odyssey, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Today we're at Patty's Fight Club and we're doing our grading. Now, Patty, you are a how many? Six Dan. Six Dan of uh, Kyokoshin. Uh, second Dan Kyokoshin, Six Dan International Grading. For international grading, okay. I'm gonna give you guys physical. I'm gonna give you guys physical, mental, technical grading. Okay? So I feel confident, whatever grade you, that you deserve it, and I'm not just giving it away. I've never done it in my life, and I never will. So we're going to go through the whole technique and everything. Okay? Press up, right through. Okay? Alright. I want a jet. Wait, the mafia. One. Two, three, four. Eddie started off easy, calling out simple techniques and combinations. We started with jabs and then one, two, right hands, uppercuts, and then eventually with kicks, knees, elbows, put everything together for Khmer boxing. This went on for one hour, and it just got harder and harder and harder physically and just nonstop. Patty calling combination after combination, technique after technique, and the whole time he was looking at our fundamentals, were we doing the moves correctly? It was physically very draining. Front leg low kick. Two punches, front leg low kick, back leg, back leg knee kick, back, yeah. One. Two. Obviously training in Cambodia, one of the things you have to deal with is the heat. It is so unbelievably hot and you can see large pools of sweat gathering on the floor of the boxing ring around Robert and myself. As fatigue began to set in, it was harder and harder to understand the instructions and of course the instructions got more and more complex and the combinations got more and more complex. And you're going to put me and Rob through the paces today. Well, I've just put you guys through the paces. Um, you guys have been training a long time. Like you've been training 30 years. Rob's been with me for five years. And um, I want to grade the guys. So you got an incentive. Okay? My gradings are stiff and hard, very hard. Like I say, my pure vision gradings um, in South Africa were eight hours. No, it was a very hard grading. I pushed you guys tonight. I've seen you fight. I've been watching you guys for the last couple of months. And um, I wanted to see the techniques, what you knew and everything like that. And um, I'm pleased. I'll give you the results tomorrow and let you know. Thanks, Freddy. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Rob, can you tell the folks your name and who you are? It's Robert Starkweather. I'm from Houston, Texas. How long have you been with Patty? I've been training with Patty since uh, 2007. And uh, how long have you been um, in Cambodia? I've been in Cambodia since 1998. I've been training with Patty since about 2007, 2006, 2007. And what do you think about her grading tonight? It was very difficult. Um, I was definitely at the limit of my physical endurance, maybe even a little past it, a lot past it. Uh, it was hard for me. It was hard. I'm lightheaded. I'm dizzy. Yeah, it was uh, almost an hour. Almost an hour. Patty had us doing all the techniques and exercises. And I don't normally exercise at all. I don't normally do jumps and skips. So I, I don't normally do jumps and skips and stuff like that. So it was really hard. What do you think about the quality of like what he was asking us to do? Kicks, punches, all that. You think it was pretty realistic? I have complete trust in Patty, my trainer. I know he's uh, he's been a trainer for a long time. He has five world champions, so my my trust in him is complete. And whatever he says, I I believe him fully. Trust in him. Yeah, I feel the same way. I mean, he's my favorite trainer. Boxing, Khmer boxing, my favorite trainer. I appreciate it. Oh man, I feel so tired. I felt embarrassed. I felt like I wasn't doing very, very well in a lot of this stuff. And we, and we never train like that. It's different than what we do in training. So it's really it's an endurance 
it's an endurance test, right? And I mean, you were here before the test along with me. Did a few rounds on the bag, a yeah. few rounds light sparring before we even got to the test. But one, two, elbow. Yeah. So beyond with the test, I was already the same as you were as a bitch. Um, I had worked out before yeah. the test begun, right? Yeah. So it wasn't completely fresh. Uh, I, I know next time I'll be, <laughs> I'll be more prepared. Yeah, I did like 30 minutes before before we started. So <laughs> and you and me were in the ring for two or three rounds. So all right, cool, man, Rob. I'm so happy to do this with you, though, brother. Yeah, absolutely, pleasure. Now yeah, we're training, pleasure. brothers. Thank you very much. For training, brothers. Thank you. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and up, back in loose, back in loose. Yeah, uh, belts, they're yellow, orange, green, blue, purple, brown, brown, brown. And then a black, black belt, first day. And you get black belt, second day, and black belt, third day. And in, in my grade, a brown belt is a Especially size of it. My brown belts were equipment to go to second day. Right, okay, so it's a very, very hard. Typically, what you're looking at about one year a belt. I mean, if you come and you train hard and, and you are diligent, you can no, get, no. get one. Um, what, what you could get from your yellow to green could take you one year to two years. It depends how much you train. Sure, sure. If I see you there every night, five days a week, and I see another guy there two days a week, well, he's doing nearly three times the training. Right. So, so if so you're doing 100 training. hours a year, he's doing 300, right. okay? Because remember, we're doing five days a week. People in yeah. the States or wherever, they're not doing five days a week. No, but Rob has done a part of that. Up. Then blue belt could take you two years. Then purple, it, that could take you, then again, so difficult. It's, 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 I've known guys that get a black belt in one and a half years, which I, I don't believe. Give us something. Three. Come on, see no legs. Lifting legs. Here's the hips up. Four. Five. Six. I want back end. Elbows. Left end. Okay. Right hand, elbow, left hand, hook. Are you there? Elbow, hook. One. I, I really, I, I don't agree. Um, you know, it's impossible. But, um, it's cheap. If you, get a, if you have a black belt after 18 months, yeah. it's a cheap black belt, right? It's, I can, I can get I can make you my yeah, third day and you foot them, but I'm bluffing you, I'm bluffing myself, you know what I mean? Two. I'd rather have a green belt. I'd rather be something that I know. You see, when... Another thing, I've earned it then. When I'm, yet, when I'm not here now, I can phone you, I can phone you up and say, hey guys, I'm not here tonight, take my class. And I know, I'm confident enough that when you're taking my class, you're teaching them what I've just graded you, my way. So you're not teaching them to punch up this and this and that and that. I know, well, I know if I'm not there, the students will learn.